Uh, a local church and ballet company are going all out for the Christmas performance this year. So Dina Kupfer is live in Rockland where she's getting a little preview of the nativity. Hi, Dina. Oh my goodness, good morning. Get ready to just immerse yourself in this whimsical, beautiful nativity performance. We are getting a slight preview this morning with some of the gorgeous dancers and handsome dancers as well. And we have Tessa White with us, Ballet Rejoice School for the Arts. That is where we are, serving Rockland and Roseville and the outlying communities. And they're getting ready for a massive production coming up in December, one of the biggest of the year for them. And we wanted to come out and highlight some of these dancers. So Tessa, thank you so much for having us and for getting the dancers here early. Thank you. This is a joy. Well, it's such a joy to see these dancers behind us. So what exactly are they practicing right now and what are they re getting ready for? We are practicing for our Nativity Ballet and this is a beautiful original presentation that shares the Christmas story and we hope that it brings hope to everyone in our community. We're so excited to share it. Yeah, okay, so this is just kind of rehearsals right now. It's all happening in December. So tell me about show times, when people can come out and support and where they need to show up to. Yeah, this is going to be on December 11th, 12th and 13th. 13th at Bridgeway Christian Church. Tickets are by donation, so we just invite everyone to come out and share the joy with us. And it's going to be at Bridgeway Church at 6.30 p.m. Okay, and you have actually been behind <laughs> this for about 25 years. You've been instructing dance. You said you started when you were 16, right? <laughs> That's right. Um, it's been an, a joy to share this story for the past 25 years. In this most recent three years, we've had over 4,500 people come out and enjoy this new ballet, which has never been seen before. Yes, and you helped to uh, choreograph all of the pieces, even getting all of the costumes and, and all of the pieces that the dancers are wearing together too. So how wonderful for you to be able to see it come to fruition. Talk about the age group of the dancers that we have here behind us and who will be in these performances in December? Yes, we have dancers from age four through adult and every single dancer has such an important role in the story. Our little ones are sheep and shepherds, our young ones, our older ones are angels, and we even have a choir and parkour dancers as well coming to perform, so it's going to be a grand celebration. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful, so moving, and just seeing the strength that these dancers embody. I mean, it is discipline, it is strength, it is dedication that they have to their craft. So to be able to pull performances like this off, but also manage their everyday lives, right? These are students who are also incorporating dance into their lives. And so what sorts of skill sets do you think that this provides for them? Definitely, it provides beauty, it provides discipline, it provides, it teaches them responsibility, it teaches them the value of art and yeah. bringing beauty to this world, which is our mission here. So it certainly is. Oh. It's, it's wonderful. These students are so dedicated. They spend five days a week here training, wow. and they really want to be excellent at what they do. So they um, are in class all the time, working as hard as they can, and you can see it come through in their passion and in their devotion to what they're doing. Yeah, it really is amazing to see, and I know as we send it back to you in the studio, Courtney Dempsey, former dancer as well and current dancer, yeah. seeing these uh, beautiful men and women behind us. I mean, gosh, For it brings me sure. back to, to the many years of taking dance class, but then just how beautiful their outfits and costumes are as well. You can right. really imagine what this will be like in December. So we'll have much more coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Also tell you how you can get your kids involved in some classes here at Ballet Rejoice. Oh, Thank fun. you so much. Thank you so much. Storytelling through the art of ballet it just oh, gives me chills every time. Thank you, Dina. Start ring in the Christmas season with a little ballet and some classic stories as well. Dina is in Rockland learning more about the Ballet Rejoices Nativity. Hey, Dina. Yes, good morning to all of you. So we have the dancers paused for just a moment because I wanted to introduce you to two of the stars of the show. So we are here in Rockland. Ballet Rejoices Nativity is going to be uh, presented to you. The entire public can come out in December. We're going to have all the information at the end of the segment. But I want to introduce you to Audrey and Willie, who are two very important people in the production. So first, let's introduce the both of you. You both go to high school here locally. Which high school, Audrey, for you? Del Oro. And you're a junior, right? Yes. Okay, and Willie? I go to Wood Creek High School and I'm a senior. You're a senior. Okay, and which which uh, performance, uh, or uh, rather, which characters will you be participating in as you do this performance in December? I am Mary. And I'll be portraying Joseph. Okay, and talk to me about your role as Mary and Joseph and, and your ability to be joined by a cast of dancers. We're going to show some of the video from last year. This is such an important performance. I'm sure you were part of it last year. Audrey, what is it like for you? It's really special to show, use your gift and show that for the community mm -hmm. and portray um, God's glory. 
Yes, yeah. absolutely. And Willie, for you, being a part of this? Um, this is my first time doing this yeah. as a guest artist here at Ballet Rejoice, and I think it's been really, really fun to be able to portray this character that people might not understand as much, like just reading it from the Bible, mm -hmm. having it seen visually yeah. produced with Audrey, obviously. Yes. It's been and very fun. And yeah. the skill set that the, the two of you possess to be able to not only play these roles, but also be a part of such a beautiful production. You are doing such a great job. So thank you so much for being with us. I'll let you go back and join the <laughs> cast. Uh, we have Tessa White, who is also going to be joining us in just a moment. Back here live. She's going to start the music for us now, and we are going to see a little snippet into what they are going to be performing in December. So Tessa, let's start with you now about what we're seeing. This is going to be a two-hour production. That's a long time. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. In this scene, you're seeing stars and angels, and they are surrounding the manger, and they are overjoyed to show the beauty of this story. And talk about the other types of dancers that will be joining you on the stage, and what else you will be featuring in this to our production. Yeah, we have all the characters in the story. Our littlest dancers are sheep, and then we have shepherds, and we have um, singers, and we have aerial dancers that are going to descend from the ceiling. We are just giving it all the, the time, energy, and beauty that we can. And also parkour, the aerial dancers are going to add a whole element from above. Uh, and this is not only something that you're working on right now, this time of year. You've been working on this for several months. When did you start uh, practicing and rehearsing for this? Yeah, we're always so excited to get started with Christmas in July. This actually takes us many months to put together with all the different pieces. But it's so glorious when people get to come see the whole thing at, in December. Yes. Okay, let's talk about it. Three days of performances. Where is it going to be and how can people uh, sign up to get tickets? Yeah, it's going to be at Bridgeway Christian Church on December 11th, 12th, and 13th at 6.30 p.m. Tickets are by donation, so we invite everyone in the community to come out and just be filled with joy and hope this Christmas. All right, thank you so much, Tessa. And if you are looking to have your student participate in dance classes, they are also going to be welcoming new students come the new year. Again, Ballet Rejoice here in the Rockland Roseville area, and look at how beautiful and strong these dancers are. You get to see them in person in December. So for now, we're going to send it back to you, and I am just going to keep having chills and being amazed as I, I watch was along. Just going to say, Dina, I have chills. Just that that um, that arabesque. My goodness, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yes. And they're so, they're just so elegant and yeah. whimsical in the way that they move. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Dina.